welcome back in the previous video this is where we left by laying out the list as we see here so in this video we are going to implement the drop down so when i click on categories you see that i have the drop down as that so let's head over to documentation and then quickly search for your component that's going to help us to implement that and i'm going to use what is called menu component so many component displays list of choices on a temporary surfaces so that is a little bit jargon so when you scroll down here let's look at the basic one we click on that you see something happens right and we have an icon with menu as that and we have dance one so based on the nature of your application you can use any of this one so when i show you how to implement it you can use any of this menu of your choice in your future project so first of all how it's been implemented before you use it let's look at the scenario here so here if you look at the final one the process is that if you click on the text and this text can be anything if you click on it it shows that something displaces below it and you have to ask yourself why is it that it's not displaying on the left or at, at the top of the page but below this so when you open the source code, then you can see that we are keeping track of states and other stuff. So if you look at the first time, you see that it's a little bit scary. So let me break it down for you to know how it's been implemented. So here, if you look at the demo, we need to have a link. When you click on it, then display. In our case, we are going to click on the categories. So when I click on that, I want to display that list so let's go back to the code and show you how i did it so in react anytime you click something and it changes it means that we need to manage states for that purpose so in our purpose here we are going to require a component called menu so let's quickly head over to the navbar here the navbar here and then let's bring in the menu component, right? Menu here. And then we also need the menu items. M E N like this. Menu item. Okay, cool. So to, to learn more, if you go to documentation here, you can see how they did it. They require the menu and the menu item. And then here they're keeping keeping track of the states. So let me show you how it's been done here in a simple way. So first thing first, let's target the link I want to click on. So first of all, I want to target the categories one. So when I click on the categories here, I want to display that. So it means that we need to bind where we are clicking and then the items we want to display. So what I'm doing here on the categories is I want to bind this one to the link to the link items, right? The most key, the most important keyword is called area control, right? Area controls. So this area controls, you need to remember it. this is going to bind where we are clicking and the items is going to display below. So I'll call this one basic menu and you can name it whatever you want but take note of the words here you use. Okay, so now after the menu here, you need to provide area has pop-up. Okay, area has pop-up and assign to true. Okay, and then next one is gonna be the function, whether it should display or not. And we call this one area expanded area expanded right area expanded if it is true it's going to be open otherwise it's going to be hide the links okay so we're going to make this one more dynamic when you click on the button you want to change the state to true or false cool and the last one gonna be a function to trigger on click okay so i will i will use the we will create a function, but for now, let's leave it as this and provide some anonymous function here as that. For now, let's leave it as this so that our application will not crash. So now we have all the props where we are targeting. 
and next is the items so you can place the items wherever you want right so here let's call this one the drop down items drop down items cool so here we are going to use the menu right i'm going to use the menu cool so we are going to wrap the menu inside the menu items so here let's bring the menu here and inside we have our menu items cool so here let's call this one the first one let's call this one main and then let's call this one any name of your choice cut women okay so two is working for now so now we want to display this one below the typography when we click on this function so for the menu we need to pass in a couple of props remember i told you the area display area controls so now this id is going to reference that so this id must be equal to the area control you use here right so the name is what basic menu so I will provide that. So now this one has been bind, bind to that. Cool. And next is you want to determine where, so let me have some space here, where this item should be displayed to. Should it be displayed? Let me show where is it. Should it be displayed below the button here or here or the icon here or the categories? And that is what we call the um, anchor and core element so here provide the end core element and this one we want to place it where we clicked on right where we clicked on so we want to displace it here so how can we get this target so we need to keep track of a state right so here we need that i will come back to the area control and next prop is called the open so this open is going to be true or false. So for now, let's also provide some default value here, like true. We come back to that. And next one is a function to close. So on close here, when you click on any of the links, you want to hide that. So for now, let's also provide an anonymous function here. So now we have all these props being passed in. So next is let's work on step by step. First. Let's work on the where it should display the anchor element, right? So the anchor element is going to be targeted where we click on. So let's head over to React here. And because we want to manage states, I will require the use states. So we're going to keep track couple of states here. I think only two, not much. So inside inside the component here, let's make use of use state here. Hook, right? And here. I will say anchor, anchor element, right? And let's call this one uppercase anchor element. Okay. And by default, let's set as a now. So now means that it's not displaying on any of the link that we click on. So here, determine the position of the element we are clicking on, like I told you. So next is we need to keep track of a state, right? So this one, this anchor element, gonna be true or false, right? Gonna be, I mean, the what do you call it? Where we click on. So next is you want to toggle, right? So cons, let's call this one handle click. So when you click handle click, so when you click on any of the link, you want to get the link that we have clicked on and set that one as an anchor. So inside here, say set anchor to the event. When you click on an event, we have the, the event here, right? So here, event dot current target, meaning where we click on. So let's do it right now here. So on click here on the or my category, I want to provide the handle click as a function here. So let's save this one and let's hope our application is not going to crash down. As you can see, where it has been displayed. So you need to tell that this one display where we clicked on. That is why we are making use of the handle click function. Cool. So for the on click on the typography, let's finish up with this one. I'll come back to that. Don't worry. 
let's finish up with this <coughs> okay so this one gonna be true or false where we click on and since this one is a noun we want to convert this one to a boolean right so quickly let's say cons has this is open menu open menu okay it's equal to boolean so if you want to convert a now property to a boolean value just pass that one to a boolean function and it's gonna be whether true or false so now we have that so now we have the anchor element here being passed in here and now this one will determine whether it should be open or not cool so let's scroll down here i have my handle click here now our state management is okay right and that's what i'm going to be handle close so i'll talk about this so let's scroll down here and where we have the handle click where is it on typography right this we are going to work on right now cool so area expanded now we are going to check here if it's open menu then let's say let's assign to true right otherwise let's call it undefined and that is it cool and we have the button passing as an on click as that next is for the on click um i think uh, the function yeah we are correct so with this being in place let's try it out and see if it's going to be display as we are expecting okay so let's try it and see oh well it's here it means that we are not assigning the prop well so let's go over to the menu here okay here is oh sorry we see that if you provide an anchor we are not providing where it should be what place in where we click on so let's provide the anchor element from our state and then the open to true let's also assign this one to open menu right as we did open menu cool so when you save this one now let's check it out when i click on categories here you see there we go right but when i when i click on menu it doesn't close it so i want to pass in a function to to i mean remove the target to now so that it will be nowhere to be displayed so let's come here and call this one cons handle close and all i'm going to do is just it's a function but do not get any argument here and say set and call to now to now as that so for this let's pass into the menu here on close and pass in here in soft about this one cool so let's try it out and see when i click on it and click one more time you see that it goes away right it goes away so when i click on this one i want to also hide it so i want to provide the on click to individuals here so for the menu here i'll provide on click and i'll say handle close so when i click on the main we see that it goes away but for women it doesn't so i have to provide that one to the women women list okay cool so that is it so we can provide more links here so here let's copy this one many times and let's call this one phones whatever it can be anything accessories and let's say others okay check it out and there we go cool so last thing before we wrap up this video you can see that i didn't change the icon here and the icon i use here is a shopping bag icon and we can quickly go to the documentation and import that so let's go to material ui and search for icons material icons quickly let's search for that and let's call this one shopping bag and i use which one was it shopping basket and this one oh, okay yeah this one so you can use any of your choice all right cool so let's go back to the now bar here and instead of menu here i'll change this one to this icon and change this one to the icon here so instead of menu here i'll use the shopping bag icon so check it out and 
well it's been defined already shopping basket and uh, oh two icons here so let me change this one to shopping basket icon two that's modern the same icon though or oh, else i can use the same sorry what, what am i doing i can use the same shopping bag icon don't worry the same okay so refresh it and there we go so you, we can increase the size of this i don't think it's, it's nice to use the same icon here so let's check for a different one we can use this one oh, for my purpose i think i use shopping bag icon what am i doing guys sorry for that shopping bag icon yeah that this one okay it's okay let's copy that and let's require it here oh sorry copy all right so paste it here and change this one to local mall icon okay cool so let's see okay looks nice 